hello and welcome to another video after so long so after so many requests i thought i should do an entire illustration so here i am we will be painting one of these my main point here is to show you how to mix your colors so we will be using poster paint and watercolor both i have this crimson red here it's a camel poster color and this is Persian blue. We will see how to mix it and how to get the folds out of such medium. Not only folds, we will see a few different things so that you will get to know what it is. Take some blue color first and then add red. So here actually proportion should be um, 60 and 40. So 60 means your crimson which is reddish tone should be more than your blue tone then only you will get the purple color which is going to be our garment color here so this is kind of taking pinkish tone you can see here um, this is more pinkish now and I'll dilute and show on the tissue uh, what color it is so let's put some water this is the color which you will be uh, getting after mixing these two in this kind of proportion. Now I will just dilute it so much that I, I will just get a thin layer on the paper, not uh, this dark. So I have another tissue paper where I will check the color tone. So here you see the color, it's still darker on the edge so now we don't need this dark because it's our first layer then we will move on our uh, another layers so first start with the lightest color just dilute it enough now you can see the color here which is very soft and very pinkish which is not that hard as your uh, palette color so we'll just you can see how it, you have to move your hand your brush straight till the end you shouldn't break the line and movement in between so you can see how i move my brush here it just goes straight till the end so don't uh, do the small small strokes try to have bigger strokes here so we'll just paint the first layer first layer is done I will just take some more color so that I get a bit thicker composition here I'm um, taking more red and again I'll take blue so you can see it's a bit stiff not that soft not that diluted so it's just uh, less water in this nothing much difference now we will just try to cover our first layer and create the realistic effect so here you can see i'm just painting the in between crease lines of the fold but this shouldn't be this darker so i will keep on diluting my color in between so that it gets a different kind of shade not too light and not too dark as this one is so i dilute it you can see there will be a very thin line in between which you can see so it shouldn't be very whitish it shouldn't be very blackish also when you are creating a solid fabric such as cotton so cotton doesn't have that much shine as your silk or chiffon so you shouldn't leave the white space or the first base layer as it is you have to layer it more with different shades so that it gets the softer cotton effect so likewise you will paint all of these in between creases keep on giving touch now again we'll just take some more color we will just 
start painting the creases. Likewise, I will keep on adding a color more depth in between creases so that it, it retains the freshness of crease. So, so that you can see here, it, I didn't leave any white space in between as it is. I'm just adding more and more colors and more and more different shades. So you just have to. So you can see I'm basically done with the layer but I will keep on adding more and more different strokes, different shades so that it has, it shows that there are lot of pleats because the, this garment actually has small small pleats, not the bigger one because it's very soft cotton look. So here I'm just adding more and more color which is darker. Also now we will just start with the same border color. So when you have the same color in the brush at that same time you try to cover the another part which has the similar color. So here you see I will just paint the bottom part. It has just bottom purple uh, and uh, on the pallu purple. So pallu also you can see the top part which comes till the middle area here it's purple and rest has different colors so first i'm taking very light color of uh, purple then later on we'll create pleats so that um, idea of creating pleat also is very different and nice so first we just um, paint the base so that it gets the color later we'll create you can see here i'm i'm just putting more color in between creases which is giving very natural crease effect so here again you'll take the darker color and and we'll extend the crease lines so here also even here so when we will paint the other colors later we'll extend the same crease lines so that it looks more so here it's done 
now we will just uh, cover other areas where purple color is there and then we'll shift on another different tones so even the border area has purple line and then all the border sides will have purple color so we'll cover everything so basically the more you paint uh, the more your brush control improves so keep on painting not just painting just try to understand how your hand is moving how you actually move your brush uh, if you are taking small strokes or longer strokes and improve on it don't just keep on repeating same thing it doesn't make any sense so when you uh, notice any you know um, weird thing like you like you're not able to do longer strokes so improve on that practice keep on practicing and then paint more in that manner now we'll take red color here more red to paint another part of it so it's just red uh, this crimson color is basically pinkish tone of red so it goes it will go well with the purple color because purple is also the same color family it's the tertiary color so here uh, this area I'll just make small line border for division and then this area has red color so we'll paint this too and we'll just paint uh, all the areas from now all the border areas so you can see I'm just doing a base tone for now this is just normal you can take any like it should be diluted it doesn't matter if it's too diluted or uh, you know it's medium mixture you just do the base once your base is done you will have an idea where to put crease so you can see this uh, dilution is very less than the first uh, part of the red so once you actually understand how to do it you will not worry about the composition because that will become the natural uh, you know that will become very natural for your hands to move with different colors once this is done you just put crease line so that it's visible now we'll take more red and you see I'll just darken the crease area and from the above area I will extend it so that it gets mixed and blend properly and it looks like the crease is continuously coming to down so again I'll just divide first and then blend it so that ways you actually shouldn't break uh, the areas like you know smaller areas and bigger areas once you are done breaking and coloring you should always try to blend all of, all the elements and all the parts whatever you have done so that's true that you should start with uh, smaller parts but then those smaller parts also should match if it's not matching it will look like two different things so we'll just you can see I'm doing very thin lines like this and again I'm when I'm coming down there it becomes a little broader so start with thin line and make it broader so that your purple line won't look more reddish it will remain purple and it will get blended also so once you are done with this the sideways all the pleats should have some base area left you shouldn't paint entirely you should leave some line of the base color so that it it shines it looks like there is some bulge happening sideways will always be dark because we are actually trying to make it look like a 3d object so once you are uh, making any 3d object it has a circumference it means the sideways will continue till behind so that will have darker area again create 
repeats here all, all the lines you just have to make it visible it's a bit more darker here all the areas till even this one and just now naturally blend it once you're done with this next we will define our borders so creases are done till here let's take a more red color and wherever red is there we'll just paint it off and then we'll move on another color so even this border has a broader red color so you see the more you practice the longer strokes the more it defines the strokes so you can see here even if it's longer area to cover my hands are moving straight and it's actually not going here or there it's actually drawing a straight line so that's what practice does if you practice uh, your brain and your hand coordinates very well so whenever someone says that you should practice more it means it doesn't mean that they don't know what to say it means that they have practiced a lot so again we'll take It will go till behind here as a continuous line. So even this border will have in the middle because yes, the, the sari border is uh, continuously equal till here, even here. So this is so till here we are done. Now we will do our skin rendering part as it's drying. We'll leave this uh, for drying. We'll just. I will just wash my brush and I'll show you the colors we will be using for our skin rendering. It's not poster paint, it's a watercolor. So we'll just leave and do our facial area. Now uh, I have yellow ochre, crimson lake which is the same red uh, as we used poster paint as the same red you can take from poster paint also not a big deal both are water based mediums and then we will have a brown color also uh, so that we can show some darker areas I'll show you how to mix it so let's take yellow ochre brown and crimson lake so first this is the brown uh, I've taken I'll show the mixing area. This is not, uh, this doesn't have to do anything with our proportion. I'm just taking the color out. Uh, these colors are actually drying because I use them less now. I bought Bruce too also. But mostly I use Camel. So this is basically Camel. I like the pigmentation of this one. So even Bruce too is nice, but then I'm not I don't have hand on bruised watercolors I feel till now so I have to practice with that more we have these three colors here so you just take water dilute some area and then take it somewhere else so you have to put a lot of water first for your skin it should be very nice and natural and then I've taken crimson lake a bit here not too much crimson lake should be just a touch of you know uh, color and again brown I've taken now we'll, you can see it's just a very light base layer so I'll just do it you just have to put it evenly you it should be so diluted that your strokes brush strokes strokes are not seen so wherever I have skin visible I will just paint it off even on the hands and later you will actually take few more layers to fin give finishing for the skin as you do for your fabrics so once this is done even hair area you should do you shouldn't start hair with black now we'll just make some more with the more uh, color composition and less dilution to provide the depth and all the uh, you know um, different features 
now we'll just paint all the darker areas where light is not falling and where light is actually blocked so even neck area because of your face your neck gets lesser light your because she's bending uh, you have to define from where light is falling on her so here just forgive me for background sound i can't help it so here you have some darker color even on the neck so one side of the face will be a bit darker if she is looking somewhere else so you have to see from where light is falling on the face now here you will see i'll just paint it a more darker than the this the side so same ways we'll just do it off even on the forehead area and then we'll dilute we'll take more color and start with the hair so even on the hand also have to do so once that is done you see i have taken only brown with very less uh, water and that gives you darker color so likewise you can paint it and even on your eye your lips wherever you have darker color so basically i'm not painting lips with any red or pink color i'll just keep it as it is once that's done your eye area will start with the hair so even sideways your all this area will have darker color your neck area too so that it looks more natural so start with brown when you are painting your hair because then only you can give some effect if you directly put black color it makes it look very flat that will give you very 2d look so just touch of brown on hand also you can see how nicely the color of skin is coming out now let's take blue for hair we'll use blue brown with the same color which you had mixed before so i have taken blue here with the brown it's very less the amount of blue is very less it just purpose is to make it more darker so here you can see it's i'll just paint the strands where i need darker strands you can see so you'll extend some more hair i like to uh, extend the front hair um, you know more curly hair in the front it looks very nice when that's done even here i'll extend so for next layer even for hair you have to layer it otherwise it will it won't look that great so i've taken more blue uh, that much blue i will not be using i'll just take brown and mix it along then i will take some more brown and red later on so this is just to get the darker shade provide the depth area of the hair it's the detailing is very small but it actually uh, is one of the important part because your hair your face everything collectively makes your illustration good so we are done with this almost we will jump on our blouse area so once this is done this is also done we'll just wash our brush and i have yellow color in my palette already so i'll just take that same color that this is watercolor basically so this is just too yellow so first i'll do the border but when i will do my blouse area it i will just add some more reddish color to uh, maintain my color theme of the dress otherwise if that lemon yellow i'll put directly on the blouse it will just pop out only blouse will be seen so you have to understand all these small details so that uh, not you know only blouse shouldn't be highlighted or only pallu shouldn't be highlighted you have to maintain the harmony balance whatever fashion elements you have learnt so i'll just roughly paint the border on the border we won't be doing that much of detailing because uh, 
we are just going to see how detailing works i will make another video on proper embroidery detailing this will have detail not a not a thing i will do detailings but then uh, it won't be entirely detailed it will just have a small touch uh, in the next video i'll make a separate video for your embroideries your prints and how to work with them so you can see here my yellow tone is more orange not uh, lemon yellow so that it goes well with my color theme so this is just you will just paint this is the first layer even for the blouse we are going to do few more layers so we'll just paint it off roughly now we will be actually doing the different layers of it so i will actually uh, just add red with this because it's orange uh, shade so it when it it has to move in darker area it will move towards red so we'll just do the same um even here because it's getting shadow your hand area this part will have darker shade so when you're painting just have these small things in your mind that wherever your shadow is falling wherever your highlight is there everything should be there you shouldn't just go and paint flat um, you know fabric color so this also will have some more darker area even this will have some more darker area so i'm just leaving some area as highlight so that it looks like a hand has this you know circumference around so once this is done even there and your toes neck area this um you know there you can always do more and more touch up you can always layer more so there is no end now we'll just move on uh we'll take a thinner brush to do our details this is the one and i use this one mostly it's very thin i actually have cut the brush <laughs> because i didn't get any thinner brush like as i wanted we'll take yellow post paint i will just take out some color and we'll first detailing what whatever will be there on the fabric will be very diluted because if you don't know that you can do it or not start with very light tone i mostly don't start with light tone but if you have doubt that you can't do it or you will not be able to do it start with very very diluted color so you can see here i will just uh, paint the I have added more water here. We will just see on the pallu. Now here we, we are not actually going to skip any pleat crease area. We will be painting even on the crease area. Later we will give wash uh, so that it looks more realistic and not uh, you know painted on top of it. So here we'll just do a small detailing. I will just finish it off and see you. border area has some white line borders which is a um, boundary type of line so we'll just do the straight line somewhere here they broken and do the detailing as we did for the bottom part
this is done we just made the same uh, design on the border also now the idea is that i will take my same color which i have used for the bottom part for the lehenga i will dilute it a lot like very thin line we have to give in between on the crease so i have actually continuously put the design but now to provide crease and effect good effect we'll just take very diluted color and again give a wash on top of the design so if if you think it will get smudged give it some time till dry so that this idea actually gives you really nice and natural design with the pleat or crease so you can see here it looks like there is a crease in between and not you know designs are not made out of the fabric so now it becomes very natural it takes your crease inside your design inside the crease this is done even here we'll just give some more on border area also here like this and uh we are almost done even some area here some blouse area here i hope you guys liked it uh, do subscribe share it i will be back with few more videos soon with our embroideries and all the requests that i get on instagram follow me on instagram uh, my instagram handle is kitchen say and this is it hope you guys liked it take care and we'll see you soon bye bye